Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are having a wonderful day, a happy Monday. Um, by the time you see this, it's not gonna be Monday, so I hope you had a good Monday. I just wanted to get on here and talk about my online school. And so I've been wanting to make a video about it, but I'm kind of like just getting into the groove of things and figuring out my schedule. And now we're on to week six, which is crazy how fast that went. I thought it would be a good time to make a college day in my life video. So that is what I'm doing. Um, Mondays are definitely my grind days. I'm so on top of things on Mondays because I like to get it done for the rest of the week. That's one really good thing about online school is that once you do it, it's done. And then you can move on with your life. And I love that. So I actually don't work on Mondays. It's the only day I don't work out of the week. And so I try to get all my things done on Mondays. I think today I'm gonna go to the coffee shop because I do have to run a few errands in town. So sometimes I do my schoolwork at home. Sometimes I go to this coffee shop. It just kind of depends. Um, lately I've been going to the coffee shop just because I feel like I'm more focused there. And I'm like, you know, if I can associate that with like school, then I know that when I'm there, it's, it's like time to work on things. So I think I'm gonna go there, but first I'm gonna make some breakfast and then I'll show you guys what I'm taking to the If you guys have been following me for any amount of time, you know that I love Raisin Toast and it's my favorite go-to breakfast. So then when I get coffee at the coffee shop, it kind of fills me up. But anyway, while I'm eating, I just wanted to go over this list. So I've tried many things in the past six weeks. Um, planners, sticky notes, different things like that. And I found that the most um, usable form of like getting my assignments down is definitely just this notepad. One thing that's really nice about this is that like a planner like wouldn't be helpful because everything is due on a Sunday besides the discussions. So like I couldn't write all of this on Sunday. That would do me no good. So if I can have a running list of what to do for each class, then it's really helpful. And as you can see, my emerging platforms class, which is for my major, has not been posted yet. He's just kind of chill, so that'll be posted later. But what I do, usually on a Sunday, or if I'm done with the stuff the week before, I'll go through and write what I have to do for each individual class. So like these with the lectures, these are minutes for the lectures. But one thing that I've liked doing is keeping my week's past notes in here. So like that was last week and like so on. So that way I can see how far I've come and like all the things that I've done. But also I just like this format because if I were to get done with this stuff or if I wanted to start on week six stuff for like art history, I use the planner all through high school. I used the planner last year in college. Uh, but I don't know, I just really, really like this little setup that I have in the notepad. But like I go through with pencil and write down what days I think I'm gonna do everything because that in my mind is like breaking it down and I definitely need that because if I see a big list, I get really overwhelmed. Yeah, so that's just kind of what works for me. Let me know if you do online school and what you guys do because I'm definitely open to trying new things but I definitely found that this notepad is very helpful. Usually I am at least like a half a week ahead but last week I had a midterm so like last week on Monday I did all my schoolwork. Like I sat down and did all of it so I had nothing left to do and then the rest of the week I just studied for my midterm. So that's like the freedom of online school. Like I can do all the stuff that I need to do and then focus on only one thing for the rest of the week. Yeah, I'm gonna eat this toast. And then I'm gonna get in my car and I think I have to go to the bank and then I'm gonna go to this coffee shop. And I kind of just play it by ear. Like, if I go to the coffee shop and I'm not feeling motivated, then I'll come back home. Excited that the people at the bank probably think I'm like, incompetent, I don't know. Because I always just go into the lobby instead of going through the drive-thru. And part of the reason, like I, I can go through the drive-thru, I'm not like incapable of going through the drive-thru, is because look, you see that out there? Drive-thru goes right through there. So that would mean that I couldn't turn left. So I always go in because I always need to turn left after I get out of here, so. There's a reason. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the coffee shop now and get a drink and I don't know if I'm gonna sit upstairs or downstairs, it depends. Like sometimes I wanna sit upstairs because I focus better up there because it's dark and like whatever, but I like sitting downstairs because it's bright. So we'll figure it out. I really hate this class. This is art history. I have done two, three lectures so far. And this one, because I can't do the discussion until I do this one, so I'm gonna do this one next. This makes me wanna bang my head against the wall. I don't care. But I also did like all this stuff for my media literacy class and this. Now I am working on media literacy, but it's a little more exciting. I'm talking about this ad right here and I got lunch but it's almost gone so. so all right so I feel like I spent my entire life in there and I probably did but it's currently 221 
I was in there for 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 5 hours. But I got everything for my art history class done besides a quiz because I need my book at home. Um, so I watched three, four lectures for that. That took forever. I did everything for my media literacy class besides responding to like the discussions, which I'll do later. Um, I wrote like an analysis of like an advertisement. I watched a lecture. I wrote this thing about like the uh, Wizard of Oz and the production elements or something like that. For my composition class, I wrote a discussion. I took a quiz, which was literally one question. It was like, true or false? We do not have any reading this week and I'm supposed to study or focus on essay number two. True, got it right, 100%. Not all online quizzes are like that though. That's just for that one. That was just her being kind of silly. I don't normally stay there for that long, but the reason why I did was because my dad called me and he needs me to pick up Lincoln at 2.30. That was at like 10.30 and I'm like, you know, I'm gonna force myself to sit here and finish all my work for the week. So now all I have to do is finish revising one essay, which I only have two more paragraphs to revise, and do a quiz. And then I'm done for the whole week and it's Monday. And that's just, like, I just love working like that. Uh, this is why online school works really well for me. When I get home, I will show you guys what I got done um, and kind of what I did and how my school program looks because I didn't really do much of that in the coffee shop. I was just grinding away. I got lunch, it was good. But yeah, I'm gonna go pick up Lincoln and then I'm supposed to help my aunt at her ice cream shop from three to four-ish because there's like this after school group that's coming. So I have to help her with that. And then I'm gonna go home and then I have to babysit at five. I'm actually going to see my best friend Grace this weekend. I'm flying to go see her. Maybe I'll do a vlog, but I'm staying with her for like five days just because I can because I do my school online. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to get really ahead today was because if I get ahead today, then I can focus on next week stuff now. So then I don't have to do as much when I'm with her in Tennessee. So yeah. That's kind of why I was really ahead, and I'm not, I don't normally work this much on Mondays, but grind Wait, time. What happened to your shoes? I got a bunch of tar stuck on them. Oh, it's, it's tar. I don't know what it's called. It's called tar. Okay. How was school today? Good. Are we gonna go eat some ice cream? Yeah. Are you gonna work at the ice cream shop? Yeah. Okay, off to work we go for Thank one you. hour. For one hour, Link. One hour. Okay. I'm back from helping my aunt. Um, it's about four o'clock now and I just sat down. Um, my emerging platforms and analytics class just got posted for the week so I'm about to check out that assignment because usually it's not a lot but he like doesn't post the stuff until Monday morning, like Monday afternoon so I never know what I have. But it looks like I just have a discussion. But basically this is what it looks like. So it just says what I have to complete. So then if you click expand, I've already completed those things. So as you can see, not much during the week besides discussions and readings, but then everything's due on Sundays. Check out my emerging platforms class for the week and scroll down all the way to week six, week six overview. Okay. So I'm supposed to listen to this audio thing before accessing the material for the quiz or for this week. Um, it looks like we're, learning about augmented reality. This class doesn't have any textbooks, which is nice, so we just read like articles and stuff like that, which I like because it's all really up to date and it's current. So I'll probably do this stuff either later tonight or tomorrow. Right now, I need to get ready to go babysit. But I think I might take a quiz first because if they look at my dashboard, the only thing I have left for this week is Essay number two revisions, which I was working on earlier, but something that I could complete right now is this quiz number two. Um, I think that'd be really good because I just was waiting until I have my book. So those are the only two things that I have to do and then discussion number six for my merging platforms class, but that means I have to do the material first. So I think I'm gonna take a quiz. I'm just waiting for my notes to print because we do have like handout notes that we have to fill out for the um, assignments for my art history class um, each week that we turn in, but also it's open note and open book, so I print out my notes so that way I can use them on a quiz. But I just thought I'd show you, like, how the modules are set up. For example, if I go over here to modules and then I scroll down because week six is today, you can see all the things that I have to do for week six and once I get all of those done, so once I complete this quiz, then week seven will open up and I can start on that, which is good except for like the quiz won't be open until next week, but I can go ahead and do the modules. This is how a typical lecture looks. So it looks like this, I watched this lecture and then this is just like supplementary things that I don't really have to do, but I can. Um, so that was a lecture I did. And here's another lecture that I did. And then I had to do a, a skill building. So this is by my actual teacher. The other stuff is just by a lecturer. 
I'm learning about Greek art right now. And then it's our discussion, so discussion number six. I am the only one that has posted so far. So that's like one of the only bad things about like twerking ahead is that you can like get all your stuff done when you want to, but you're basically waiting on other people to be able to do the discussion post because you have to respond to two people in order to move on. So I'm waiting for two people to write their posts. And then I had another po or another lecture to watch. I got this all done today. I just hate this class, so I try to get it done super fast, but the lectures are literally painfully boring. Then each week we submit our notes through here, so I already did that. And then I'm ready for quiz five, but I gotta go pick up my papers downstairs. Can we take a minute to just see how big this textbook is? How am I supposed to bring this to England? If you have any good ideas, let me know. I'm planning on putting it in my carry-on. Yeah, but this is over 103 and 130, so I'm gonna go to 103 and 130. Okay, we're here. Ancient Greece. Lovely. But if you're wondering, this is how this works. So I have to do a lockdown browser, so that way it makes my computer basically disabled, except for taking the quiz. And what's, you have to kill the applications. What's kind of funny is like, this is the only class that does it. Like none of my major classes do this, only this one. So yeah, I'm gonna sign in and then take the quiz. I, sorry, I just got out of the shower, um, but I just realized it's like 11 o'clock and I never ended this vlog. So basically the rest of the day, all I did was go and babysit for like two, two hours. And then after that, I came back and I literally did nothing. Like that's the biggest problem is like I come back and I'm like, I'm gonna get all this stuff done. But then I don't get any of it done because I'm tired and I just wanna like, relax. Just realized I never ate dinner, so. I'm gonna be hungry in the morning, but honestly, like that's kind of the biggest blessing of doing this online school and like not being on a campus and not having like a strict schedule because if I'm not hungry, I just don't eat and I don't like stuff myself. Like, but anyway, thank you guys for watching this vlog. If you wanna know anything more about online school, just leave it down in the comments below. Might be willing to do like a fall morning routine or night routine or whatever. Yeah, but thanks for watching. I hope this gave you a little look into my life and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.